What is up guys and welcome to today's video. My name of course is Eric. Welcome to the new B-roll set. Um, Zach and I built this desk. We have this wooden frame that goes around it. It's gonna hold cameras, lights, you name it. We have a lot of parts still coming in, so stay tuned for that and we'll show you how to build this ultimate desk. But before that, ooh, actually, I didn't even add the light to it. There we go. I have this light that goes around it. It's kind of just being hung up by uh, clamps right now, but oh, it's gonna be fantastic. And actually, speaking about lights, that's what today's video is about. It's about this guy, the Aperture LS Mini 20D, an LED spotlight. And a review is coming very soon, but today we're going to be unboxing it. So let's get to it. So quick disclaimer, we've had this in the studio for a long time now. I just repackaged everything up and I'm making the unboxing. So I kind of cheated the unboxing system, but it still should get the point across. So this is the box, obviously. Nothing very special about it. Just lifting it up, come on. There we go, we have the box and it might be a little messier than what it would be if you got it, but let's just start diving into all the parts. So first off, we have this battery. Um, this will be able to power the spotlight if you desire. And also with that battery is the attachment plate, I guess you can call it. And there's a wire in here somewhere for that. Moving right along, looks like we have some documentary, aperture card, whatever. So also we have this. These are like CTO filters color temperature orange. It's gonna allow you to change the color temperature of the light and we'll get back to that. Um, another piece of the manual. And okay, so we're diving into some more stuff. So here's some wires. This is our, oops, this is our AC power cord, which goes to our AC power adapter, I guess you could call it. Um, obviously it just connects like so there. The cord's also pretty, pretty long for what it is, which is nice. And of course, if you wanted something a little longer, I guess you could technically replace this wire, get something a little longer. This is just a standard um, plug you would use for like a desktop. Moving right along, um, we'll dive into the spotlight last. So we have our battery charger for this battery. We have another power cord, but this one lets the aperture light connect to USB power. So I can hypothetically plug this into like my laptop and power the light or into a USB power bank, um, which I've used power banks before. It works really well. In terms of plugging this into a computer, I've had problems doing it with my desktop because the USBs on it aren't very powerful. So just keep that in mind. Moving right along, um, this is the power cord that goes to the battery plate, I guess, battery deck. So one end is gonna go into the deck. Obviously then you put the battery right on top, like so. And then this entire system will go into your camera. Moving along, we have an actual CTO filter and we'll come back to this. Um, oh, we have a ball head adapter. This one for a fact is not the one that Aperture gives me. The one that Aperture gave me is actually used on my camera right now. Um, the one they gave you is a lot more beefier, um, supports a lot more weight, but this will allow you to connect the Aperture light to a light stand or hypothetically anything else. You can even do like a hot shoe mount, whatever. All right, so I think it's time now to pull out the actual light itself. This is it. This is all it is. Um, let me just quickly, oh, I forgot one thing. This is a little clamp and we'll come back to that in a sec. So that is, I think everything, looks like it's everything. Let's just move that to the side. So um, we'll get back to this in a sec. So I just wanna mention this clamp. So if you wanna power the spotlight with this battery, um, obviously you can plug it in and to the back of this like so, great. But then what do you do with this big battery? Well, it's really nice that Aperture gave us this clamp. Um, this clamp basically lets you screw in like so. And now what I can simply do is take this clamp and clamp it to the side of a light stand 
and the battery USB chilling on the side. It's a really great system actually. Moving though to the light itself, here it is. It is, when I first took it out of the box, I was like, dang, this is, this is really small. Um, it's really compact. It can easily fit into a lot of my camera bags. So that is awesome. Um, so let's just open up the top. So these are some barn doors to help direct the light nice. Has some nice like felt on the inside. Open it up all the way. You're greeted with the lens. Um, so on the side, you have the, actually well, let's, before we dive into it, let's actually just plug it in so I can just show you some real examples. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be plugging this into AC. I just plugged the power cord behind me. Um, so the power goes into the back, kind of sticks out, which is kind of annoying. I never really had a problem with it, but it could be a little bit of a better design. Anyway, now that we have the lens exposed um, and I have power plugged in, there's a power button on the back. Simply click it, bam, the light turns on. You can see it's decently bright. Um, and if you want to control the brightness, that is this little dial on the side. You can raise it, the brightness up, you can raise the brightness down. There's some indicator lights on the side, so it goes down to 20%, or you can raise it all the way up to 100%. And at 100%, this thing is, is pretty bright, not gonna lie, especially for its size. Now, what's also really nice is, let's go back to the back of the unit. Um, there is this other dial, and this lets you adjust if you want the light to flood or if you want the light to spot. So even though this is a spotlight, which means it's going to be a rather directional light, if you don't want it to be super directional, you want the edges to kind of taper off, fade off, whatever you want to say, um, it gives you that control, which is really nice. Uh, and you see there's some like mechanics in here actually moving the physical lens. So just overall looking at the light though, let's just power it off. So we already went over the back and there's also some indicator lights on the back on what degree you're gonna be spotting or flooding the light. Um, everything's made out of plastic, but it feels really hard, really solid. If I dropped it, I'm not gonna drop it. Um, I feel like it would survive that drop. So looking on the bottom of the unit, uh, obviously you see there's some vents and there's actually like vents on the top too, but on the bottom there's more vents and actually there's a small fan. Um, in testing, you do hear the fan at some times. I never found it to be a problem. You also have your quarter inch thread so you can connect this to a light stand, to a tripod. Um, there's actually a little adapter in it which lets you mount this to a light stand or a tripod, whichever you want, which is very handy. Anyway though, that is the basics of this light. So I'm just gonna unplug it right now. Um, now jumping back, I mentioned these CTO filters. So after testing this, and I'll talk about this more in the review, I found that the color temperature is very cool on this light. Um, it's even bluer than daylight. Um, so daylight's usually about 5,600 Kelvin. Um, this model is like, I think 7,000 Kelvin or something. It's in the review. So this CTO filter, you just simply slide it in like so, and it fixes the color temperature to make it 5,600 K, which is really nice. Now say you need, you know, your light to be even warmer. That's where these come in, and I haven't actually used these before, but I guess you could cut them out and put them on this already hard filter. So I took all the plastic off of this CTO filter and it doesn't like stick to the actual hard plastic at all, but I guess because this filter somewhat sticks out in the corners of the light, like so, you probably just use a little bit of tape, tape it down, bam, you already are done. So it's really nice that Aperture has included, you know, these filters, um, the multiple ways to power the unit, um, your charger, your battery, you know, even a, a ball head adapter for mounting it on a tripod light stand. Aperture, I felt, really thought this product through, despite the fact of it essentially being a budget kind of LED light. So anyway, guys, that is the rather long, I guess, unboxing 
of the Aperture LS Mini 20D. Wait for the review. I have a lot of good things to say about this light. If you're interested in picking one up, link will be in the description. And uh, in case you're curious, what do I actually use this light for? Yeah, I use it in the studio. Yeah, I use it to light products. Yeah, I use it for commercial work. I also use it for weddings, sweet 16s, and it's been fantastic at all of that. Anyway guys, that's today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. And the video is done.